Hello and welcome to a reading vlog. So basically this video, it's a video where actually I have no timeline, I have no idea when I want to finish this video, but basically this is a video where I read a bunch of random books and then we just we'll talk about it. We'll talk about the process of reading the books, we'll give you reviews about the books, and I don't know how many books I will finish, I don't know what books I will finish. The only thing I know is that I have a selection of books I want to finish during this vlog or filming this vlog. Currently, I'm in the middle of like five different books, and some of them, most of them, I am like chapter two, chapter three, right at the beginning still, in comparison with the whole of the book. So, what books I'm currently reading, you might be asking. I started reading The Bell Jar by Sifa Bluff. I'm currently on chapter 3. This is a book I picked up and I was sure I was going to read it relatively fast because it's a 230 page book. But the thing is, I went on a spontaneous last minute travel and I didn't read much of The Bell Jar. And then during this travel I started two other books because I just needed to read books like I needed a book to read on the go I needed a book I could read in the dark or a book that I could read in the car or just dancing around in my Kindle app on the, the Kindle app on the phone also because I also needed to stop scrolling the two books I started on Kindle was Opposites Attract by Camilla Isley this is a classic rom-com and enemies to lovers, neighbors to lovers romantic comedy it's what it's written in the cover and it's basically about these two they are neighbors in their office building and basically they they don't start into they are enemies okay it's a rom-com it's funny uh, i think this is the book i'm the part of the scene right now i'm 45 percent into this book and it's going it's, it's fine it's a classic rom-com i also started a book called I Think He Knows by Katie Bailey. This is actually a sequel to a book I read many, many months ago and I had no idea it was a series. But apparently it is. So I'm also reading that, I think in chapter two or three. This is one I downloaded on my book and that I kept reading on the go. And the first two chapters are also okay. The other two books I'm currently reading, I am like, making my way through this fashion marketing book which it's it's over there i won't i won't be going to pick it up right now also i am still making my way through rereading the count of monte cristo this time in french so those are the books i'm currently reading now about the spontaneous travel i went to the eros i got last minute tickets for the first night in rio <laughs> I just went to Rio to watch the Eras Door and that concert is surreal. I'm not sure how Taylor Swift does it because she was like, she spent three and a half hours, almost four hours dancing, singing, changing clothes, playing the piano, playing the guitar and the day, that day in Rio was just so incredibly warm. I left the stadium completely drenched. Hello, so it's Saturday now and I'm getting ready because I'm going out to buy Christmas gifts and also I'm kind of hunting down these books and I saw on the internet that, that there is this bookstore that might have I can order through the website but on the website said that it might have on store. I already went to one when I was in Rio. I didn't find there, but I think the one I'm going to today might be the one where these books are at. Otherwise, I'll need to order them. Let me finish get ready because it's already late and it's cold and rainy. So the parking lot will be full and I need to get my jacket. Quick outfit check. I'm wearing this old t-shirt that I own, but I just felt like wearing it with my leather jacket and this 
pants that for some reason I woke up wanting to wear those pants and the little boots because it's rainy and cold. So I just got home and I found one of the books. There were three books on my list of books I want to find, but uh, there was only one because apparently every time one copy arrives, it immediately is sold and I need to order it online. The book that I was looking for was actually A Court of Thorns and Roses or Akutar. I found A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Maas. Akutar, it's, it's a difficult one. It's been a difficult one to find and whenever I find it, it's super expensive. So I'm going to now order it online because on this bookshop, it's the best price. So let's order and hope that the price is not absurd. I also kind of bought some clothes. I found this little vest at Zara, which I've been looking for a vest I can wear as a top for a while now. The one I have is a bit too big because I lost quite a bit of weight a few years ago and now they're back in fashion. So I got a black vest and I have a black... I can wear it with a lot of things but I also have a black pants that match perfectly with it so I can also make it match match it. Very excited for the purchase and another project I'm very excited about them to not my the other one is a Christmas gift because I also bought some Christmas gifts but obviously I won't be showing here because it's a Christmas gift but I got, I found these pajamas which they were even cheaper than they were on the deck and I'm very happy because they seem to be very comfortable and I'll put it in the wash and whenever it's somehow cold again I might wear it now let me put those things away and then let me give you a quick update on the books I am reading. So the books I were reading from the ones I was reading at the beginning of the video or three days ago. So when I read on numbers it might seem more because this is actually a short book but I read around 40% more of Opposites Attract by Camilla Isley. I'm on 84% in this book and so far it's a classic rom-com it's nothing too special it's just like it's entertaining but the writing is not the best and honestly I'm not feeling the characters the main couple I feel like they don't really have chemistry and I think that might be because well, this is a short book I think it's 250 pages long and yeah i think they needed to be developed more they just you know it's it's very go girl give us nothing kind of vibe for the main characters and the other book i actually read was the bell jar by sylvia bleff i am halfway through the book according to goodreads i'm exactly 48 percent through the book uh, which would be page 114 in my edition and I'm taking longer than I expected to read the book. So far this book it is considered like a feminist classic and it clearly is for the time I this is from 60s let me check. The book was published in 1963 so it, it is indeed a very feminist white feminist book for if you consider the time it was released right now it's kind of outdated but the main character Esther, she's just so, she's so, <laughs> like, Paul, she's so, she's not a nice person, she's a selfish person, and she's struggling a lot with mental health. There is a discussion about mental health in this book, on the prejudices of mental health in the 60s, and some of them we can still talk about it today. And, yeah, Aurora, I understand why this book's a classic, it makes sense. Hi, hello, so it's Monday, so two days later, I didn't film anything yesterday, I did read quite a bit and please ignore my hair, it is a tiny bit of a mess, but that's because 
I put on a hair serum that has been sitting on my hair for quite some time now and I'm about to wash it off. I finished reading two of the books I was talking about. So I finished The Bell Jar by Sylvia Black. I finished this last night. Like it has merit being a classic. I understand why so many people love it. For me, it was a solid four stars. It's a good book. The character, she's still a Michael, but she becomes a little bit better by the end. And it's an interesting journey. It definitely didn't and it didn't finish the way I thought it would finish. So that's it for the Bell Jar. I also so finished reading Opposites A Track by Camilla Isley, I believe. Yeah, that's the name of the author. At first I thought it would be just a cute, silly rom-com that is kind of entertaining, it's a good palate cleanser but by the end I just didn't feel the main characters as a couple, I feel they didn't have chemistry and the writing just wasn't something that got to me and I didn't enjoy it, I ended up giving it two and a half two and a half, two point five stars. Maybe you like it, maybe it will work for you for as a palette cleanser because that's how I feel that book for me would work better. Or that's kind of also how it worked for me. But yeah, that's why it oh also I started a new book. Let me get it. Let's go back to this place. I finally started reading Pride and Prejudice and I'm three chapters in and I'm loving it and that's the all the update I have for you and I want to continue reading it because it seems so fun I love the commentary on Mr. Darcy on the first three chapters how he so like no matter how much money he has the people in this society are no the moms trying to marry their kids and their daughters and their daughters just don't like him, they like Mr. Ringling, but they don't like Mr. Darcy because Mr. Darcy is just so arrogant and it's just so annoying and it do, it would be a fun I have a feeling this would be a fun book Hello, so it's been a few days, I forgot to film, so let me give you a quick recap of when, what was the last book I talked to you about? When it comes to Pride and Prejudice, I don't really have an update that I can give you, I'm reading it and I'm still enjoying it. When it comes to the second book I was reading, which was I Think He Knows by... Katie Bailey. I did finish that one, so I can give you a quick review. It just, it's a close star romance, and if you want a book that is a good book, like for you to read on the go, or a book that is easy for you to get in the story and out of the story, you don't really need to keep paying so much attention to the plot or to binge read it to enjoy. That one is a good option. I gave it three stars. It's an enjoyable book, it's not my favorite. So I also started reading A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens and the thing is, the only other time I read Dickens before, we didn't vibe. I read The Bleak House, didn't really enjoy that book, I ended up in a reading slump, but I started to read the A Christmas Carol because it's a classic and it is a Christmas book and we are in the middle of Christmas season, so I thought you know, it'd be a good idea. I'm still on chapter two, part two of the novel. On the first part of the Christmas Carol, me and Charles Dickens, we still don't mesh, me and his writing. Not my favorite, but I'm on part two right now, and part two is better. That's pretty much all the updates when it comes to books that I can give you. When it comes to, like, clothes, should I give you a quick clothing haul? Yeah, let me give you. So yesterday I went to Zara and I bought a few things. The first one, it's right here. I got this dress. It is kind. Of, it's a midi dress and it, it is black. It has this lid here and it's backless. And it's great for the warm weather. And I really like this one. And then I also got a t-shirt. Let me... Go fetch the t-shirt. 
I got this white t-shirt that when I saw it, I needed to get it. It says South Carolina and admittedly, I never been to South Carolina, United States, but my name is Carolina. So how could I say no to a t-shirt with my name? Like we can cross South and just keep it Carolina. It's my t-shirt and it is white and it is blue and I think it will go well. So basically this with my name on it and I really enjoyed that. I'm going back to the mall now because we need to exchange something. Let me show you my outfit and then we finish this vlog. So I'm wearing the black vest I got at Zara. I'm wearing the black vest because you know, I was just feeling wearing the black vest. And then I bear it with my white skirts because it's neutral. And then I was wearing this flat, light, dazzled, cute little sandal. But then I remembered and I remember like by using the sandals that my feet and super flat shoes we don't mesh so I changed it for something the complete opposite so I'm wearing this can, can you see heel sandals that I have and I think they are cute and they are actually surprisingly comfortable and I'm also usually more comfortable in high heels than super flat shoes if you like this video don't forget to give a like subscribe and I will see you soon